It is Wednesday, August 31st, 2022. It is also day 409 of Data Science, and today I'm just going to cover np.random.rand and then np.random.rand with an n. So the difference is just one is positive, one is negative. Anyway, so the first thing to do is import numpy as np and then do np.random and then rand and then the first values would be like row so the number of rows so let's say i want like two rows and then one column and that's going to give me just random numbers um in one column but they're going to give me like two random numbers so if i do three then i would get like three rows or three random numbers in one column if i do two columns then i'll see it in two columns and then those are like only positive numbers if i want negative numbers then i would just have to do np.random dot rand and then n and then if i do the same thing um, i won't get the exact numbers because again they're random but now they are negative and that is the difference between np random dot rand and then rand n and i heard someone say once that they just think of like n as negative so this is you know positive rand and then just adding an n at the end just makes the um array have or just output like random negative numbers um, or at least that they include random negative numbers. It doesn't mean that necessarily all of the numbers are going to be negative, just like this one and this one also. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. A little quick something. Bye.